Alright guys, welcome back to a new series, and this one uh, I'm very excited for. So, in this one we're going to be making Minecraft with C++ inside of the Unreal Engine. And, don't get me wrong, this is going to be a huge, huge project. There will probably be, I want to say, 20 or 30, 40 tutorials. I'm not going to be making the full version of Minecraft, because obviously there's just so many different things, so many different items, assets, etc. But we'll have the core basics there. We're going to be having, you know, the ability to place blocks, break blocks. Um, I probably will add some sort of item crafting type thing in. All of that good stuff will be in the game. So expect a pretty long series. Without further ado, let's get started. Um, so the first thing to do is go to New Project, C++, and we're going to make a first-person project. And we'll customize the project a little bit so that it feels more Minecraft-like. But I'm going to keep all of Unreal Engine's you know, graphical capabilities. So at the end of this, we're going to have Minecraft, but it's going to look really nice compared to like your average Minecraft. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to call this uh, MCUE, so Minecraft Unreal Engine, and then just click Create Project. I'll start recording when everything is loaded. So we're back, we're in the engine now, and uh, we can get started on actually adding some functionality. Alright, um, so by default, it's not going to feel anything like Minecraft at all. So how do we change that? Well, the first thing to do is to select the first person character, and I found that setting the scale to about 1.25 gives it a more Minecraft feel. You'll also want to come to the capsule component here and set the capsule radius to about 5. And this means that the collision area is a lot smaller, which holds true, because that's sort of how it works in Minecraft. And that's pretty much it for customizing the uh, character. It'll now feel a lot more Minecraft-like. And we can run around. Um, obviously, this is nothing like Minecraft, though, because we're in a level with non-Minecraft-like characteristics. We also have a gun in our hands, which doesn't help. Uh, so let's just get rid of everything in the scene here. So to do that, I'm just going to click absolutely everything and just get rid of it. And then we'll start adding blocks and we'll decorate a level with different Minecraft blocks like the grass blocks, the cobblestone blocks, and then after that we'll make the blocks breakable and add an inventory and stuff. That's going to be a little bit further on down the line though. This tutorial is just going to focus on making our first block and getting some of that core functionality built into the game. So the first thing we're going to do is come here and click on the Show or Hide the Sources panel button, and then go to C++ Classes, and then add a new one. So to do that, I'm just going to right-click and then go New C++ Class. The Block class is going to be Type Actor, we'll go Next, and then Enter Block, and we'll go Create Class. Now, like I said, this video is just going to be laying out the absolute basics, so I'm going to be um, adding blocks, texturing the blocks, and that's it. That's all we're doing in this tutorial. I want to keep stuff nice and simple. Um, so let's go into the uh, Unreal Engine here. I'll get rid of this other project I was working on. And we're going to get rid of tick, so just get rid of that completely. Also get rid of this line that says B can ever tick. Go into the header file and also remove this line that says tick. We don't need any tick functionality, and if we were to add tick functionality to our blocks, the game would be very, very hard to run, um, because we're going to have hundreds of blocks spawned into the game at one time. So for them all to have their own tick function is just far too much processing for a computer to do, and it uh, just wouldn't work. So that's all done. Um, let's just add one thing right now. We're going to add a U property, and give it the macro edit defaults only. And then that's just going to be a U static mesh. So each block is going to have a cube as its static mesh, and we're going to call this SM underscore block. So we've made a static mesh called SM underscore block. Let's go into our .cpp file, and in the constructor here, I'm going to initialize it. So we'll say SM underscore block equals create default subobject u static mesh component. And then finally, text and we'll just put in um, block mesh and that is literally all we need to do to get the block class started. Um, later on we're going to add some functions that allow the player to break the block and stuff like that but for now um, the block is just a static mesh. 
So once you've saved that, um, minimize that and just click the compile button here. Now while this is compiling, I'm going to come into my content and lay out the file structure for our project. Because Minecraft is such a big project, I want to make sure everything is laid out nicely. So we'll go new, uh, new folder, and we'll call that assets. Inside of assets, we're going to make some other folders. So we'll make one called blueprints. We'll make another one called textures. We'll make one called meshes. And then we'll make one more called materials. So those are the four folders we have for now. We'll probably add some more later, but those are the core ones that we have right now. The next thing to do is to go into the geometry folder here, click on meshes, and then just drag this cube into our assets, and then drag it into um, meshes. Inside of meshes, we're gonna make another um, folder, and we'll call this blocks. Drag the cube into blocks and then rename it. We'll duplicate that again actually. And name this new one sm underscore grass block. Now before we can um, texture the grass block, let's rename that. Make that be a capital. Before we can texture this grass block, we need to actually import the texture. So go into this textures folder and drag in t underscore grass and that asset will be linked in the description. All of the assets will be in the description, so just click on that link and download them. Drag that in, and you'll now see t underscore grass. Also, we're going to drag in t underscore break, which is the material that we use um, for breaking blocks, and you'll see that there. Um, we'll add that in in more detail later. All we're going to do now is um, just right click on t underscore grass and click create material, and call that m underscore grass. And then just drag m underscore grass into the materials folder, like so. Um, now inside of meshes, go into blocks and double click on grass block. And then set the material to m underscore grass. So now we have our Minecraft block. It's now there. Uh, go ahead and save that. Now we'll go into our C++ classes. And on that block class that we just made, we're going to right click and create a blueprint class. And we'll call this bp underscore block underscore grass. And we're going to make a lot of these blocks in the future. But this is the first one, the grass block. We'll save that to assets slash blueprints. Click on sm underscore block and then um, go to static mesh and then choose the mesh, which is going to be sm underscore grass block. And there we go. This is our first block. And later on, we'll be able to add functionality to break the block and mine it or whatever. Um, but for now, that's all we need. So just click compile, save, and now we can actually start dragging these into our level. Now before we drag them in, these blocks are 100 by 100 in size. Set the snap size to 100, and that'll make sure all your blocks are always um, parallel to each other. We'll drag that in. And so here's our player here. So we'll drag a few blocks in just for our player to stand on. We'll just make a small little level. So just copy and paste a few blocks. And um, select all three of these, drag these out. So this is just a little platform. You can see we're in the game now. We're just standing on a little platform of blocks. Uh, this is nothing special, obviously, but this is the start of a world. We've sort of dragged out some blocks and, and made the start of a world. Obviously, we've only got grass blocks right now, uh, so it's a little bit boring, but I think that's a nice little end point for the first tutorial. I'll just show you guys how we make this block and we'll drag some in. And uh, right now we cannot jump up onto each block. To fix that, um, we're going to come into the, the player here and go down to character movement and type in jump. And where it says jump Z velocity, just change that to 500. And now we should be able to jump onto the blocks quite effortlessly. There we go. You can see we can jump onto the blocks, no problem. Uh, in the next uh, tutorial, we're going to be adding a pickaxe to our player. So instead of having this gun, we're going to have a pickaxe, and we can mine some of the, the blocks and stuff. We'll add that all in the next video, so I'll see you guys there.